March is Brain Injury Awareness Month, and to find out more, we brought in Dr. Ashish Despande, Division Chief of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at Spectrum Health. It's glad we're glad to have you here today. Thanks for having me here. So let's start with the basics. What is brain injury? So brain injury is when the normal function of the brain is disturbed by a bump or a jolt uh, to the head. And what happens is the brain sitting inside the skull is also has a lot of fluid around it. And whether you actually hit your head on something or not, the brain kind of bumps around or jostles around and the delicate tissues get injured. Yeah, you know, I think we use so much caution when it comes to brain injury, whether it is, you know, our student who uh, is involved in a sports injury or something, because we have to be careful. It's, it's very important, and I think sometimes brain injuries are taken a little bit too lightly. Oh, it's a bump on the head, or oh, you'll get over it, you had a, had a ringer, and it's much more serious than that at times. Yeah, what are some common types of injuries that can lead to brain injury? So one of the most common types of injuries that can lead to brain injury is a fall. Uh, that can occur typically in the elderly and the youngest patients more commonly, but there are other reasons that brain injuries occur, and that can include motor vehicle accidents and sports injuries and even violence, uh, mm -hmm. which can be up to 20% uh, of the cause of uh, brain injuries. Right. And so let's talk a little bit about the treatment process and maybe how the treatment process can differ from other types of injuries that we have on our body. So the treatment process, uh, it's very important to get evaluated, whether in sports injuries it's by the trainer or by your physician, and I always recommend seeing your family physician um, when you have any of these kind of injuries. And that physician can decide whether they can treat and take care of things or kind of uh, move on uh, to have you see a specialist like a rehabilitation physician or a neurologist or someone like that. Mm -hmm. And the treatment typically at first involves rest. So whatever activities you're doing, you tend to back off from them, um, maybe school for some amount of time, uh, certainly sports activities or other things where you might hit your head again. Uh, it can, in more serious brain injuries, involve uh, therapy, either physical or speech or occupational therapy, and for the most severe type of brain injuries, it involves being in a hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, at first a regular hospital, and then a rehabilitation facility. After that, to get the best treatment, uh, to be have the best chance of recovery. Mm -hmm. This may seem like a broad question, especially because there are so many different ways we can have brain injury. But are there some tips that we can, um, or precautions that we can take to prevent something like this from happening? There certainly are, and some are common sense. Um, one of the most common ones I, I tell patients and uh, families is in sporting activities, wearing a helmet. Mm -hmm. And not just the common ones you think of, such as baseball or football, but even riding a bike uh, on a skateboard, for example, um, lacrosse or other activities where you think uh, there may not be as much of a chance of a head injury, but there certainly is. You can be as, uh, as cautious, cautious as you want, and I think that's important. Um, other things in your car, uh, parents wearing a seat belt and putting your child in the appropriate kind of uh, car safety seat, making sure it fits correctly, it's buckled in correctly, uh, not driving under the influence of alcohol, uh, drugs or even prescription drugs. You do need to be careful about that. And then certainly the most important uh, is not uh, driving while being distracted. That being ah, radio. That, that would be the texting, texting which is a big thing too. Absolutely. It's, um, it's so dangerous. And uh, if, if uh, some takeaways from today, wearing a helmet and just really pay attention to driving, not just on days like this morning, mm -hmm. but uh, all days. Well, I bet you see so much with that uh, in different types of uh, people saying, I never thought that this type of behavior would actually put me here in your office or as a patient. And that's anywhere from the mild head injuries that I sometimes see in the office to the severe brain injuries where someone's in a coma and on a ventilator and things. You just never suspect it's going to be you or a loved one. And so just taking some precautions, why not? It helps and it. Uh, uh, let you go on without having such a serious problem occurring. You had mentioned it, Dr. Despande, but um, it is really important if you have any concerns to get checked out because this is something that we just don't want to mess around with and, and maybe, you know, something wouldn't be apparent right away but certainly could pop up down the road and we don't want to take those kinds of chances. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's important to um, be evaluated after an injury, and, and we talked about the kinds of injuries, but what feels like, oh, it's nothing I can keep going on. Sometimes I mentioned about the falls. And sometimes in the with home. young people, too. Yeah, you're going to try to just muscle through it or whatever else you're trying to do, and that may not be the best option, um, especially with some of the symptoms that come on, like confusion and headache and nausea and vomiting and different things. You feel like, oh, it's, I can get through this. 
Maybe yes, but it's much more important to get evaluated and checked out to make sure nothing more serious is going on. Right, and we do have some contact information that we'll share. We'll put it online. So if anybody has any questions, you can learn more about the rehabilitation through Spectrum Health or how to get your questions answered. And so thank you so much for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me here. Yes. We'll be back, back with more at West. Don't go away. Are you West?